Hey guys, Rise of Oblivious here, back with another video tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make a polyscape desktop background, or any type of background for that case, in Photoshop. Now, the first step is to go ahead and open up Photoshop. Go to File, New, and we can go ahead and create our file. Go ahead and name this whatever you want. And uh, width and height can be anything, um, but usually it's about 19, 20, 10, 80. That's about standard for uh, most, but probably everything. Go ahead and click OK. Now what we want to do is create our guidelines which is vital for any Photoshop project. Uh, and to create our guidelines we can go to View, New Guide, and our horizontal and vertical orientations will be 50% each. This will make our guidelines dead in the center. Now the next step is to uh, place both of our images that we will be using. Um, so we can go to um, file, place, click our first image, and we can resize this so that it fits the entire canvas. Go ahead and click check. That looks about right. And we can place our second image. And that's good right there. So now we have both of our images. Uh, we're actually not going to mess around with this as of now. Uh, first, we have to make our shape. So we can go ahead and just hide them. Now we're going to go ahead and make our shapes. Now the first step to make our shapes is to create a new layer. And we can go ahead and name this whatever we want. Now what we want to do is create a rectangle. Um, so we can go to our rectangle tool. And go ahead and size this to our liking. I'm going to keep it at about 9.7 to about 5.3. That looks about right. Now what we want to do is create our sub shapes that are a bit smaller than this, um, but will add a really nice effect like we see it right here with our sub shapes at the top and the bottom. And we can go ahead and hide our main shape so we can just focus on our duplicate. Um, and we're going to go ahead and actually go to our rectangular marquee tool. And we're going to select uh, the chunk of the rectangle we want to cut off and let go. And as you can see, it selects everything. And we're going to go ahead and just erase everything here real quick. Oh. And we can go ahead and click Command D. It deselects everything. So now we have the the sub shape that we want. Now let's go ahead and only make our main shape visible. Now what we want to do is um, twist it so that it's in a a diagonal position. Um, so we can go to our move tool. First, we're going to center this right in the middle now what we're going to do is turn it um, at the in the diagonal position press control T to transform it and if you go to the top you can go ahead and just twist it and we're going to twist this into our 45 degree angle and click the check bar now the next step of course is to follow suit with our duplicate layers. So we can go to our duplicate layer and make our main shape visible as well so we can use that as reference. And we can go to our duplicate layer and just press control T to transform it. And we can go ahead and just move to that so that it's in the position we like. Let's move this. Let's just make sure this is at 45 degrees. So that it matches perfectly with our main shape. Go to our move tool. Move it where we want. And that sounds about right. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Probably about one fourth. And that's good right there. Actually, to make this a little bit easier, we can duplicate um, our duplicate one layer. Go to this layer. 
duplicate it, move it to the position we like, and make sure this is matching. Just eyeballing this at the moment. And that looks about good. Now we are done with our shapes. Now the next step is to work with our images so that we have our actual polyscape effect. Now to do this, let's make our mountain ranges in our New York City background um, visible. Um, and we're going to go ahead and actually move the New York City image above everything because this is the one we're going to go ahead and actually put into the shapes and we're going to use the mountain range as the background. Now the first thing we need to do is if you have multiple shapes you need to go ahead and put it in one folder. Now if you only have one shape you can go ahead and just continue with this step, uh, the next step but if you have multiple layers of your shapes like I do here and which most likely you do as well uh, continue with this step which is to make a folder or a group uh, and go, go ahead and select all of your shape layers and we're going to go ahead and move it to our group and as you can see it's right under there under group one and just like that we have all of our layers in one group now we can what we can do is go on with our next step which is to mask our image to group one and to do this it's really simple just right click New York City or your image um, and we can go ahead and create a clipping mask now it's very important to first of all make sure that you have New York City above your shape so we can see this actually come to life and just like that we have a polyscape effect uh, in, in a very simple Photoshop edit now as you can see here it looks a lot different than what I had over here that is because I actually uh, adjusted the images um, and I kind of graded it and increased the contrast and all that stuff that you do right here now I'm gonna go ahead and make a video on how I did that um, very soon so if it hasn't come out already it will come out soon but if it has come out it should be on the screen you're seeing right now um, but if most of you probably already know how to do that uh, but if you don't know you can go ahead and watch that tutorial on how to how I kind of color graded and adjusted the images right here to make it a lot cooler uh, like I have right here so if you guys like my tutorial please like it if you guys learn anything please subscribe as I have more Photoshop tutorials coming soon um, and that's about it hope you guys enjoy it again and I'll see you guys next time